Okay, okay, okay. Lee's here. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, my name is Timmy. Uh, I'm in the whitest kids you know. And uh, the sketch group slash computer group. We're a computer lab group. Uh, computer, we're a group of computers. We're a bunch of intelligent computers. And, uh, but not that intelligent. We're like uh, if a calculator ran on cheese whiz. I don't know. Anyways, hello. And uh, you're watching official Whitest Kids uh, Twitch channel network. This is Zucchini Boys. It's a cooking show. And every time you do anything that gives us money for any of these shows, it goes towards finishing our animated film, Mars. Which we are so powerful. Our comedy is so powerful that even when one member is fucking dead, the movie's still going to get finished. So, you know, don't fuck with us. We don't care if you're dead. We'll, we'll make the movie. So, there you go. Um, so it's New Year's Eve tomorrow. Uh, it's funny how New Year's Eve has gone just, it's become, I don't know for you, I don't know about you, Lee, but it's but for me, the last couple of New Year's, you're just like, Jesus fucking Christ, finally. And then, it, but, but then you're also like, ah, another year of this, you know? So, I don't know. Everything's bullshit. We're all going to die, but we get to eat snacks on New Year's Eve. And clearly I'm eating snacks all the time lately. So anyways, uh, tonight we're making... I'm making one of my family's favorite New Year's Eve snacks, which is pizza dip. And Lee, who is Sidecar, who is the zucchini supplier, he brings me all my vegetables and things. He is uh, addicted to gardening, but I think you're more addicted to giving people that Giving's a strong word. You're addicted to making people take your vegetables from you. <laughs> and so when I asked you to come back, you're like, yeah, we'll make horseradish chip and sauerkraut cake, because he has too much of each. each. So he's like, it's like, okay, man, all right. So uh, he threatened me with my life. So, uh... Not really. So we're going to make a horseradish dip, which is great, but we're also going to make sauerkraut cake, sauerkraut chocolate cake, which you haven't had before. No. Okay, I've never heard of it, nor had it. And uh, what are you doing? Looking for a place to put the bowl. It goes over here. You don't need to do all that. You're not my slave. So you're going to be mixing these while I talk to the people. Okay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you take that one. Go back here. I'll get your dry goods. The directions are right here, and I'm going to get the wet stuff. <laughs> Sex. Okay. Um, hold, oh, that's the wrong thing. So, a uh, half cup butter and one half cup sugar. Okay. Do, do, do. Anyway, so it's a, it's a cake made out of sauerkraut. Uh, you put all the normal cake stuff in it, too. What are you looking for? I'm just standing. You need, okay, so you need, you're going to do the dry stay, goods. You're right. going to combine flour, cocoa, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Yes, so, I am. Flour. I just gave you the cocoa. Baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Okay, Maybe. so you get all those together. And there's plenty of cups. But you want my new Christmas ones? I got these for Christmas. Uh, apparently it's a new thing to get uh, cr uh, kitchen tools that are shaped like bunt cake pans. So there's all that. And uh, every goddamn measuring spoon in the world. So you do that, and uh, what do you like to mix a dry good with? How about a wooden fork, huh? Yes. All right, oh, okay. pal. How are we doing in here? Big nutrition. Is Lee no. single smoking hot Delf? Well, he's not. Sorry. <laughs> Neither am I. We're just a couple of taken Delfs. <laughs> married for 30 years. He's taken AF. 30 years. Taken oh. Delfs. Okay, so, uh, and you know how I measure flour. Do you remember? Right. Scoop it right in there. Just jam no, the whole... No, oh. no, no. So two cups. Of, you, you're starting at flour. I'm starting yes. at extract. Two. All right, half cup of butter. Soften. This is extremely softened. Dilf equals doll liquor. I'd like to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? Okay. There's that. What? It's always funny when butter says like half cup. That means a stick. One cup. That means two sticks. Like it's kind of a trick. Is that a, that's a cup? Uh-oh. Well, is it the measuring cup or not? Yes. <laughs> yeah, good lord. Okay. <laughs> now what do I need? I need uh, one and a half cups Two of sugar. Cups. Okay. Two cups. Half I'm cup. getting a bunch of texts that this mean that something's wrong. That's Baking normally what it means. Cocoa. 
Hey, how do we look in sound, by the way? It looks like our my FPS is okay. Not embarrassing, possibly. Oh, it's my stupid siblings. Just talk as I, my stupid sister's stupid birthday today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw that. She's 29. Still, still gay. <laughs> She's doing great. Yeah. Okay. She, by the way, is also a talented stand-up comic. When she wants My to. sister? When have you seen her do? When has she ever done that? Ah, uh, she has. Ask her. Where? Ask her. Ask her ask Where her. does she do it? At yeah. your at your open mic? No, no, no. Unbeknownst to moi? Yep. What an asshole! Where'd she do it in uh, Minneapolis? Because she lives out there now. What I don't a, know. Dude, I'm gonna fucking. Uh, can you <laughs> dump your sister? Can you like say like we're done? One teaspoon baking. Oh, I was muted. Okay. We were muted for a while because I was going to run the mixer and then Lee had a problem. Here we go. And now I'm going to mute us for real. You couldn't hear me, but Lee was laughing at the chat and I say, how many people are yelling, muted, muted? It's like we're all... Like it's the end of the universe. Do you ever make your own butter? Do you ever shut up? I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, never made my own butter. Made my own cheese several times. Oh, fun. Uh, have you made your own butter? Do it all the time. How do you do it? Explain. Explain. You just use heavy whipping cream. Don't it's, stop working. It's if you find at the grocery store when it's about the heavy whipping cream is about to expire and it's cheap. Okay. And you just throw it in your mixer here like thing and mm -hmm. walk the hell away. Okay. See, I make whipped cream <laughs> that way, but if you keep going, it just it'll butter. become butter. Okay. okay. I got you. I'm actually going to use the whisk attachment. Half teaspoon of salt. I just want to get this cake in the oven because it goes... Uh, salt's right there. Okay. Where that, that thing that says salt's yeah. on top of it. <laughs> okay, the reason that salt is in a cute little glass container is because it was in a big old normal cardboard salt can, but the way they had the pouring mechanism on it was fucked up. So I said, nope. But, you know, what's also funny, Lee, is that you know, you were on one of the shows, you know that I just did a month of shows about making cookies. Yeah. And when I was like, hey, man, now we're going to change it up and do snacks. You're like, cool, let's make cake. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I can't say no to you, but I really wanted to. <laughs> just kidding. I'm really excited to see what's... Has anyone out there ever tried sauerkraut okay. cake? No? All right, so now I need a bunch of eggs. What do we got? I'm gonna talk about sauerkraut. Okay, go for it. All right, so sauerkraut, this is interesting. You just grow the cabbage, and we actually ferment it. I have these little vented caps, not this one, this is a different one. But a vented cap, and you actually just shred up the cabbage, jam it in a jar with a little bit of salt, and, and that's it, and just let it ferment. And it's got a little venting cap, and when you're done, I mean, there's just there's nothing here but cabbage and salt, and it, Fermented, amazing stuff. Sauerkraut. None of that was true. It was all true. Move your, move your. I gotta take this out. I don't know why it's in here. Garbage. Ooh. Mm 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 All right, you got the dry goods mixed up. Dry goods. Fuck is that? All mixed up. Don't know what to do. Take a look around, find the person who needs to use something, something else. 3 out of it. They became kind of crappy. All right. Okay, now the directions here say mix up the eggs one at a time. So that's what I'm doing. 
smell that sauerkraut. Now, okay, so we only need three-fourths of a cup. And here's the brilliant thing about these measuring cups that David, my brother, the handsome Williams, gave to me, is there is a three-fourths cup cup. Isn't that Whoa. incredible? I, I haven't worked with that before. You got your full quarter cup like normal, your third cup, there's a two-thirds cup, there's a three-quarters cup, there's a half cup of crooks. It's fucking fascinating. That's the kind of stuff to give da that gets dads hard. Right, Lee? Hey, hey, hey. Fucking hey, hard. Hey, what? Hey. What? Do I pack the sauerkraut or just loose? loose? I'd say pack it. Let's pack. fucking sauerkraut this cake. Ah! Okay. Oh, this is, this is becoming, I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it. This is becoming a goddamn custard. That's what this is. gonna be good although it's not hot so you know. what oh this stuff is so good I can't wait man okay so get it nice and yeah drain it it's drained and then we and then uh, smush it dry so uh, I do love to use paper towels on this show so we'll smush it dry and then you gotta chop it up Chop it up any smaller than this. Well, there's, there's strings, you know, so you chop up the okay. strings. How's everybody doing? I, I got right on the cooking trail and didn't really pay as much of attention. So, uh, let's see. Anything going on here? Not yet. Okay. So. Oh, you're right. There are strings. See, it, it's like I tell my daughter. It's almost like I know what I'm talking about, you know? So these uh, instructions instruct you to uh, beat the eggs, uh, get the eggs to room temp and beat them separately. And if you see, this is just butter, sugar, and the eggs, but it looks, you can't really see that very well. Hold on. Ah! Okay. But it gets real nice and custardy in there. Custard would be, have to be heated, but this is still good. All right. Mm. You're eating the sauerkraut? Yeah. Lee's over here eating our ingredients. Okay, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm just kidding. I mean, you made the ingredients, mm. and there's plenty. <laughs> Take whatever you want. There's plenty. Okay. There's also a very buttery frosting that's going to happen with this. Buttery. Buttery. Thick and stiff. Okay. I had vanilla. Come on. Wait a minute. Okay. Now, the other weird thing about this recipe, I don't know if you saw this, my man. Uh, there's You put water in it. Just fucking water. Did you know that? No, I did not know that. Isn't that weird? That's weird. <sighs> I'm not peeing. I'm not peeing. I'm not peeing. I'm not peeing. Okay. Do you like to stand in a way that's completely in the way? Is yeah. Well, I was just curious. Where does it show who's donating what? Because you're like that's a different screen. Oh, okay. And nobody's do donating yet, but you can if you want, and we appreciate it. I'm almost done using the mixer, so I'm just going to do it. Okay, so Barb, this is not Barb. Lee is not Barb. Barb is the neighbor I would pretend to talk to when I don't have an upstairs neighbor. I once again do not have an upstairs neighbor. So, oh, wow. I'm now once again yelling to Barb. Yeah. Barb! But you know what? Uh, my upstairs neighbor who's in Florida and thought since it was like three below half the week here, he thought he should tell me about that. Fucking dick. If you're watching, Rob, I love you. Anyways. Uh-oh. Principal Rose, you're right. This is a depression era recipe. My grandfather, Jerry Casey, was in a depression era WPA Works video, uh, newsreel that they played in movie theaters about building shelter belts. Did you know that? Nice. Yeah, he was about 20 at the time, looking real good, wearing watermelon, uh, wearing watermelon, wearing overalls, eating watermelon because they lived on a watermelon farm. 
you know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Oh, holy shit. Put too much water in for a second. Without enough stuff. Oh. Hi, Sidecar, you are a great combo. That person's name is Bitcom. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Listen, I, I told this on one of our, our first stream after Trevor passed, uh, but I love silly, like, I love our fans, and I love silly usernames and dirty ones, and one of my favorite things in the whole universe is that when Trevor... I, no, it's not one of my favorite things that he died, but I was going to say one of my favorite things that happened after he died is that... I have a letterbox account, right? That where I like log the movies that I review or that I watch, and I review them and write a little thing. And one of the and you know my most recent movies pop up. So if you follow me on Letterbox, you'll see you know it'll, it'll give you a little thing in your feed about when I review a movie. And so sometimes you know a fan will just see whatever movie that I've reviewed recently and like comment on it. Sometimes just say hey Timmy or whatever, and I get notifications on my phone. So. Wow! Ah! Okay. So, uh, the day, okay, so Trevor died on the 7th, hit the news that night. I wake up the next morning, August 8th, I look at my phone, <laughs> and there's one notification, well, there's a lot of notifications, but the first notification I saw said, Bastard Dickhead commented on your review of Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Sorry for your loss, man. <laughs> <laughs> I will always love that so much. I have a screenshot saved of it somewhere. It's just so fucking perfect. You know, a guy named someone named Bastard Dickhead being very sweet and nice. I just love how that played out, right? It's so funny. Um, okay. So, so someone was asking. Stir in sauerkraut. Is this ready or what? Ready. It's all ready. Okay. Shop. They were asking how to donate. They don't know how to donate. Okay. Uh, look at the page and go down. If on the on our Twitch page here, go down. There's a donate button. Also, somebody, uh, one of the mods, do the donate thing, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lee. Okay. You gotta hook us up with that letterbox username though. It's really hard to figure out. It's Timmy W. Wait a minute. And I'm about to embark on a journey through the Coen brothers. I just watched Miller's Crossing for the first time in years. Loved it! Now, this is only three-fourths of a cup? Yeah. And so tonight, after I kick Lee's ass out of here, I'll probably watch... Uh, I think I'm going to watch them in chronological... Oh, not chronological, but order they made them in. Uh, so, But Miller's is, would be out of order. I'll watch Blood Simple tonight, their very first movie. Do you like Coen brothers, Lee? You know who that? what that means? I don't know how much of a movie person you are. You know, I'm an intense movie person. You know that. Right. Um, so the, the... You know who they are? The remake of... Uh, True, True Grit, Grit is they great. They did such a fantastic it is job great. with that. I love it. Um, Barton Fink... Which Such is a, immortalized in a great Simpsons episode where yeah. the boys are, get to go see an R-rated movie. They get in a pickup truck and they're cheering, Barton Fink, which is like <laughs> not like a fun R-rated movie. Hudsucker know? Proxy. Yeah. I mean, just everything they get their Fargo, hands Fargo, probably my favorite film of all, all right, time. So, yeah. uh, so we've got Hayley the Sarah Seinfeld, Kray. who was yes. in, right, now she's in the she's new Hawkeye. She's Hawkeye. She's the new Hawkeye. Yeah, so that's uh, just... Yeah, in fact, I was thinking... a very talented uh, 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 just pop singer. Oh, she's a singer too. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So much talent. She well, she killed it in Hawkeye. I loved Hawkeye. Yeah, yeah that was fun. Largely because of her and um, what's her name? She's just fucking destroying everything she does too. Florence Pugh is fantastic. She plays the Russian girl, the oh, other black yeah. widow. Oh, she is fantastic. Yeah. Little Women. You know, I'm not like a sentimental person when it comes to my entertainment. I like horror movies. I like kicking movies. Uh, Buster Scruggs. What? Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Yeah, I've not Scruggs. seen that yet. So oh. that's that's what I'll be watching. There's like three of their movies I haven't seen. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen Hudsucker Proxy, and I've never seen Intolerable Cruelty. So I'll be watching all those during Ballad my Ballad of Buster Scruggs is very disturbing. Yeah? <laughs> we'll see if they can get me. Anyways, I was saying, uh, I'm, very I'm not very sentimental when it comes to my entertainment. However, I fucking love Little Women, and Florence Pugh absolutely killed her role as Amy in Little Women. They actually gave that role a little more substance than in the book. One of the best books ever written, you know? So, All right, dude, so here's the deal. We got this sauerkraut cake batter, which looks great. Mm -hmm. If you stick your finger on it, I'll chop it off. And, um... Pour into two greased and floured 8-inch round baking pans. Now, I don't have that. 
I have a. I don't do a lot of cake. I don't bake a lot of cake. So. Oh! I have hair go in my throat. Okay. So here's my. Uh, here's what we have as options. We have this. Wait, you gotta look. This is your cake, right? Right. We can bake. You do two, right? You can do one in here. And then we got a bunt pan. Matches my spoon by measuring cups, right? Is this a bunt? Bunt? That's bunt. Bunt. I got this because uh, when my girlfriend visited in July, she, June, she taught us this. Uh, she she brought this amazing recipe. of a chocolate pumpkin cake that she made in this for Father's Day. Oh, mud on, as they say. Uh, bunt, bunt pan. Or uh, this is just kind of like a cake pan, pie pan. It's not really a pie pan because it's not slanted. So this is a cake pan. Cake pan. This is probably what they meant. Yes. So maybe we should do a bunt and a uh, round. You right. want to do that? There okay. You go. So now let's do butter hands. Yep. Butter hands. Who would win in a fight? Let's see. The Neo, Tyler Durden, Travis Brecknell, and Agent Smith. Who is Travis Brecknell? Brecknell. Oh, are you trying to say uh, the taxi driver guy? His name wasn't well, Brecknell. Travis uh, Bickle. It's Bickle. Bickle. There you go. Somebody don't know they shit. Anyways, but Neo is winning unanimously. Did you see the new Matrix? I have not. Ha! Ha! I did not like it the first time. Loved it the second time. As a big action guy, they did not do the same thing they did with action in the previous films, which was make the best action you'd ever seen at that point. Uh, but everything else about it is glorious. I really, really enjoyed it. There we go. We use a lot of paper towels on this show. Okay, we also have to flower this. Flower. Biatch. So next up, we're going to get the pizza. Well, maybe we'll make the frosting for this and then get the pizza dip. So I'm just going to... Sprinkle a little flour here. Okay, who who of those would win if they were thoroughly buttered? Ooh, I feel like Tyler Durden would be the best uh, buttered because he's just a little more into... Look, I'm not one of those idiots that thinks he was the good guy of that movie, okay? But he's one of those people that uh, uh, thrives on chaos. That's his whole thing, right? So... He would love being all buttery. And he's very homoerotic. And, you know, so he'd like to be oily and touching touching other dudes, right? I think that's part of his deal, right? It's like, butter me up, bitches! Okay, so we got two cake pans, and now we put cake inside of them. Yes. Pour into two greased and floured inch round bacon pans, bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. So, let's, uh, we're going to put this up front. For the pipples to see and by the way this is one of the very last streams with only one camera uh things are gonna get extremely do you need to go wash your hands go wash your hands no i'm fine you're doing what my daughter does when she touches a piece of an egg i don't know what to do you know it's like okay here we go anyways uh i don't know if you know this lee but uh after okay so lee was on the first show back a few weeks ago which ran at about 5 FPS and looks like a stop motion animation. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, the audio's perfect, yeah. video sucks. Um, and then it happened again the next week and I got very frustrated and only streamed for about 15 minutes. I rage quit. I wasn't even playing a video game and I rage quitted. That's how good I am at rage quitting. Um, but, I said but. Uh, Nate and some other people decided, well, uh, let's just make him have a new computer. So they, st I started getting pieces in the mail, and I'm almost done receiving pieces in the mail. And once I'm done receiving pieces in the mail, we will have a Build Timmy's computer stream. Me and Sam and Nate. You can't help me with that one. <laughs> Lee can build lots of things. Computers, no. eh, one of them. No. Lee can build a fucking motorcycle out of a few paper clips and some erasers, but uh, we're not going to let you around the technology. <laughs> Which is why you'll be so great in the post-apocalypse. Because, you know, we won't need that shit, but we will need someone who can invent sidecars. We'll need yeah. someone who can uh, make nails for my shelf randomly when I call you on a Sunday. You know, that kind of stuff. So I'm in the middle of restoring a wood stove from the 1870s. Dude, uh, your Facebook feed, you should post all that shit on Twitter, have you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, go to my Twitter, Timmy is a nerd. Look for my latest post. It's got Lee's handle in it. And look for his uh, uh, pictures and tweets about restoring this old wood stove it's pr looking pretty badass yeah so how much uh, work do you have left on it i have to uh, build a forge and cast an aluminum leg for it and then i'm going to 
But see, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to make the forge inside the stove so I can melt the aluminum to make the leg for the stove. Can you believe this, motherfucker? He's over here being like, i got to build a forge. And I'm like, man, I'm so proud of myself for maybe going to take a shower after this show. <laughs> <laughs> Different levels. Okay, does these look about evened out to they you? Do. Yeah, they're right. good. Well, let's throw them in the fucking thing. Yeah. Now, there's not, when you open my oven, you'll notice there's not a forge in there. So I'm sorry if you're let down. There's not a forge, it's just an oven. Forgeless. Completely fucking forgeless. I'm sorry. Okay. This is weird with sauerkraut. Yeah. And well, and there's raw eggs in it too, so see you mm. later. Taste the salmonella. Salmonella. Kick my ass. All right, 35, seven minutes. We'll go. Oh. All right, I'll do a little too. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. You know what? I have an educated guess, Lee. It's going to be a thing. I have an educated guess. Yeah. Sauerkraut is similar when you cut up. There's possibly a similar texture, not taste, but texture to coconut. Yeah, yeah. Very and good. German chocolate uh, frosting oh, on coconut is a beautiful thing. Yep. So I'm kind of thinking there's going to be a similarity there. In fact, we're going to make the frosting that's in the directions, but if, if we'll all probably finish south, and wish we'd made German chocolate frosting. And hot dogs to put the sauerkraut cake on. I don't know about that. That sounds like a bad idea. Also, every time you come to my show and say hot dogs, you owe me $10. Oh, so, I'm going to whip it out. Just kidding. I probably owe you $10. Never mind. <laughs> Um, move yourself. I'm out. Okay, so now we're gonna make frosting. Okay. What do we need for the frosting? Do we need a timer? You set a timer? It's on the, uh, the stove. It's on the oven. Mm -hmm. Butter, chocolate, and vanilla in a bowl. Oh, we need to melt that chocolate, pal. So okay. let's get that melted. Um, grab your chocolate. Do I melt it? We can melt it in a bowl in the microwave or we can melt it on, on the stove top. Probably easier in the microwave. Let's just do that. Does it say on there, suggest on there how to melt it? Maybe a little horseradish, you know? If you could read, you would see that there's a horseradish recipe coming. And yeah, I mean, okay, now we have a lot of donations to get to. Angie Carey donated $50, said love you guys so much. Thank you, Angie. F Token donated, I probably said that wrong, donated $169 to Mars. Thank you. I miss Newsboys, fuck you, donated 10 bucks. Thanks for keeping the stream alive, Timmy, to Mars. I'm just kidding. I, I miss Newsboys, too. But this show's better. Always was. Um, and Trevor would be happy to hear me say that, because he loved that we... He loved that I reacted to his calling the show the flagship over there. What is happening? They, we put the instruction on the inside of the box. <laughs> That's stupid. Does it tell you how to melt that shit? Yes. Does it just says, say melt that shit? Put it in a microwave. <laughs> no. Oh, there are directions, you pots. Okay. <laughs> Easy microwave melting. Microwave chocolate and microwavable safe bowl on high 30 seconds. Stir. Microwave 30 seconds more. Stir. Continue heating and stirring in how 10 second ounces? increments. How many? How many? How many? Four, how many? dude. That's a whole package. Really? Fucking go nuts. Woo! You need the bowl. No, 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 no! <laughs> Lee tried to put metal bowls in my microwave. You're smart enough. I know that you know that's a shit idea. <laughs> Ooh, we're getting pretty gunky around here. Oh, the double boiler. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would have been. You know what? Yeah. Double boiler is something I really want. I want a good sifter and I want an air fryer. Nobody take notes. I'm saying that my daughter fucked up and only gave me adorable handmade things for Christmas. I'm kidding. I love what she gave me. Uh, she didn't give me this little robot. She gave me this guy, though. This is a pretty complicated Santa. Uh, she made out of wood. And it's supposed to be me as Santa because he's got cookie crumbs in his beard. So I grounded her for that. Anyways. What are you doing? Oh, I thought it said 30 seconds. So only let it go half. All right, if you're paying attention. I'm not a paying attentioner guy. 
now. Okay, we need that. We need vanilla extract. A lot of confectioner sugar. Man, I thought I was done dealing with confectioner sugar after Cookie Month, but then Lee pulled me back in. I got that weight. I got that weight. Lee, I mean, look at this. This is how. This is funny. This is funny when you have powdered sugar like this. Okay. Well, comedy lesson. When you make something that's not a whole bunch of cocaine look like a whole bunch of cocaine. Instant comedy. Oh, I gotta wash out the bowl. Gimme. How's that doing? Keep going. You want a little rubber spatula instead to stir that stuff over? I got it. I got a million. You want one? I got it. Huh? I'm fine. You're good? I'm fine. Okay. Oh, I changed around my drawers. And still I'm getting confused over here. I feel like we've been intense on the work, but you know, once we get, because the cake to me is more complicated than everything else. The other stuff is just put in a bowl and mixed together pretty much. Oh, and plus I made you a snack, Lee. It's almost done. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Timmy being a low life like the rest of us is refreshing. You figure he would be Mr. Hollywood. You know what? Uh, when people are surprised about that, first of all, yeah, I'm just a humble guy. Thank you for appreciating it. Also, uh, we were on channel like 438, man. We got quitting your paid much. <laughs> I have no grounds on which to be a Hollywood motherfucker. Butter, chocolate, and vanilla in a bowl. How's that? Is that done? I'm getting there. Dude, there's... Okay, this recipe calls for so much butter. One and one-third cups, which is this much butter. Oh, I'm having a little heart attack. Lee deserves some spotlight time. He's hilarious, too. Yeah, this is my show, and he's my fucking kitchen, bitch. I'm just kidding. I just want to get this cake going. And so we got the cake in the oven and the frosting part, and then the rest of this is pretty easy. And you can take center stage for the horseradish, although it is my recipe. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look that look looks that. like chocolate. Okay, yeah. now we do want to use... Show the people that. That's delightful. Chocolate. It's very... The bowl is hot. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. So I did a podcast interview recently with comedian David Hunchberger, and during the interview with David Hunchberger, The Space Cave, if you want to listen to The Space Cave pod podcast, I did that interview, and one of the things Dave started talking about is how much he admires Timmy Williams. Why? Did you bring me up, or did he bring it up independently? I want full we, ego trip here. I want to know. We Well, uh, all right, so here's what went up. David Hunchberger was doing a show a couple years ago in Denver, Colorado at the Bug Theater, and, you know, I didn't know any better, so I emailed, or I tweeted, tweeted, tweetified him to him, and said, hey, Dave, you know, it's only $90 to come from Denver, Colorado to Watertown, South Dakota, and you can put on a show here, because I put on shows here. And uh, he says, yeah, I can do that, which was kind of cool. So I get David Huntsberger coming to Watertown, South Dakota, and Timmy Williams says, hey, you got David Huntsberger coming to Watertown? Yeah! He says, well, well, it'd be fun to do a show. So I get home. Yeah, and but you're forgetting a fact. It was my 20th high school reunion. <laughs> and so the few people who would understand my humor from my graduated class came to the show. And several who didn't. Because <laughs> uh, David, uh, David's pretty cerebral. I'm just a little too leftist and mad for this area. And so it was a fun show to put on here. And uh, But Dave was yeah. freaked out because Timmy has... Had done shows with Dave out in Los Angeles. So Dave comes out here to the middle of the country and still gets to work with Timmy Williams. So yeah. anyway, Dave's a big fan of Timmy Williams. David Huntsberger, Space Cave Podcast. We've known each other for a long time. Yeah, and he just thinks the world of Timmy. And that was kind of neat because uh, I know all you guys all love Timmy and all the rest of the whitest kids, but it's universal. Nobody everybody, likes Zach. Everybody you interact with just loves this guy. Oh, thank you. So anyways, I got fired today for being a jerk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a damn. Um, 
Okay, what do we need in here? Uh, frosting be butter, chocolate, and vanilla in a bowl. Okay, so we got the butter, we got the chocolate. Mm. Now this is unsweetened, right? Correct. So it would not taste great yet. But we're about to put so much fucking sugar in this. And there's already a lot of butter. Okay, uh, will you grab the vanilla, please? It's sitting over there on the table. That's the table, that table shaped thing there. That was sassy. Okay. So what do we do? Butter, chocolate, vanilla. This is gonna be bitter. Isn't oh, that bitter? Oh. Uh. Yeah, dude, it's like the first time when you're a kid you eat a special dark. You're like, what the fuck happened to this Hershey bar? And then you grow up and you're like, oh, uh. I like this flavor. <laughs> and, oh, speaking of bitter things that you like when you get older, let's fucking crack one, homie. Huh, you wanna crack one? You gonna crack one? Sure. All right. I never drink. I like hardly ever drink. Well, let's drink some shitty cheap beer. Are you allowed to drink on shrimp? I don't know. Uh, Trevor, like, always drank White Claw, so I think we're fine. Okay. All right. Living. High life. Back in the high life again. Probably cost about 60 cents to drink an entire beer. <laughs> Back in the high life again. Here comes some more ADS, SMA, eight MSR. <laughs> Dude, sometime we'll do a drinking version of the show where you take a shot every time I turn the thing on too fast and like get splattered with something. Oh man, that smells fucking good. We're gonna beat together a little more and then add in so much powdered sugar. So this is the frosting? This is the frosting for the cake. Do we need any sauerkraut on the frosting? No, there's no sauerkraut on the frosting! Perfect. See, this is what I'm talking about. He's just constantly trying to get rid of the things that he grows. <laughs> He's like, you want some horseradish? You got horseradish? I called you on Facebook, you were... Our friend Wonko, our mutual friend Wonko, who lives in the He's mountains. The Hi, Wonko! Is he there tonight? Hey, baby! Uh, he, I forget what he was talking about, some kind of cooking or making dinner, and Lee comments on there and says, uh, you need some horseradish? And I, I, I don't know if you saw this, but I went on afterwards and, and referred to you as Lee the Root Pusher. <laughs> and he's like, take my roots, come on, you want my roots? You go, there's the roots, come back, there's the roots. I love it, man. <laughs> Add sugar and beat well. Oh, get the uh, red capped milk out of the fridge, please. Four cups of confectioner sugar. See it? We're gonna do. Eh, maybe just one at a time. Now confectioner sugar, I'm okay with packing that. <laughs> so on your weird local ingredients list, you ever done anything with rhubarb? Not really. See I rhubarb. Should do that. Rhubarb is in the middle of the country. It has to freeze every winter. Oh really? So you got. Don't hear it talk about that. So, well, they can't hear it shit right now. So just a look. Right. Rhubarb. So, rhubarb. Rhubarb has to freeze every winter. So there's a lot of areas of the country that rhubarb won't grow. Over here, it's a it's damn near a weed. So a lot of people grow it and mm -hmm. wish it they could kill it. And it's, My parents have a patch in the backyard. Everybody does. Everybody you know? does, right. Yeah, but rhubarb is really great for, for baking and cooking and stuff. But it's I suppose it's everywhere because it has to freeze every winter. Yeah. Now, if you live in some place where it didn't freeze, you could dig it up in the fall, stick it in your freezer for about a month, and then put it back in the ground. I suppose you yep. could figure you out could ways to do it. Right. But you, yeah, rhubarb. Rhubarb. That's the slogan for tonight. Rhubarb, God damn it. Where did I put the rest of my butt cups? Back in the high life again. Randomly singing bad songs. Bad, bad. Oh, hey, how many did I put in here? Only what? Two? I'm at, I'm at two, right? Okay. Shit. You know, but frosting, you can eyeball it. Turn on the oven light. It's behind all those oven mitts. Let's see how we're doing in there. Looking good? You gotta get down there. Oh, here are those oh, old wow. man knees pop. Oh, they're amazing. They're really floofing up. Are they fluffed up too much? No, yeah, they're looking good. Yeah. Man, I, okay, all right, okay, okay, yeah. all right. I'm a little excited to eat this cake. Do you need anything else while I'm down here? <laughs> no. I just bought new lotion. Oh. I'm set. 
Yo, put some milk in it. All right. I fucking hate it when people just assume shit. <laughs> I'm following a list of instructions, and yes, milk goes in it. It's fucking frosting. I wasn't born yesterday. Eat a fuck. Eat my entire butthole. Just the hole. Okay. <laughs> Smoked rhubarb. What the? That's uh, probably be good. That sounds good. All right. I'm losing. I got all mad. Can make rhubarb at jerky. the assumpt assumptiveness, and I lost track of oh. how many of these I got. Going on. You ever want to cook any antelope? I got a big antelope roast. Dude, let, you know what? It's about time for me to do a show where I don't just cook horrible things that'll make you fat. Antelope chislick. Yeah, antelope. Let's do it. I might go bi-weekly for a little bit, just to kind of take a breather. But sure. um, we'll see what happens. I also got to be uh, doing that computer building stream sometime soon. So maybe I'm not going to go bi-weekly. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's do another... Uh, let's put that there. Another cup of this. I think we're at four now. Huh. Looks like carrots. Dude, I think I already did four. <laughs> that looks like frosting already. What's your, you know what? We can just uh, play it by ear, you know? Well, so now we put a little bit of milk right? in there. Yeah. Right. Fourth cup of whole milk, which is this. Kohlrabi. Kohlrabi is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It grows really well. Someone's asking about the kohlrabi. A lot of root vegetables. Right. Yeah. Tastes a lot like cabbage. Lee, I did, uh, when you started talking about kohlrabi, then yeah. you said, well, someone was asking about it. I'm like, well, I assumed that because I know that you're a, a bit of a nut like me, but I know you're not going to randomly... Random. Kohlrabi! 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 kohlrabi. <laughs> kale. Grew some kale last year. Sure, yeah. You can't kill that shit. That is one hell of a plant. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I think I could go out there right now and get transplanted indoors and it would Seriously? come back to life. That's cool. That's crazy. Because you're supposed to put this cake in layers, but we have two different shapes. Because oh. <laughs> you're supposed to put the frosting in between. Right. Whatever, we'll figure it out. I, I love kale chips. I made kale chips not that long ago. I should do that on stream. That's nice, man. All right, Lee, go wash your hands, and then we're going to stick our fingers in the frosting. Yep. This looks about good. Two guys, one frosting. Because I have to ruin everything. Do you understand that reference, Lee? Okay, so tell me if this is fluffy enough. If it's not, Put in a little more powdered sugar. Well, that stuff looks amazing. You wash your hands. Stick I a did. finger in. Oh, do this or that. Yeah, whatever. I think that not too much. That'll spread really nice. Well, eat it. Tell me what it tastes like. Sweet enough? Yes. Do you think I? I literally lost track of the powdered sugar. So, do you think I had enough in there? I do. But what's your take? I think that's about right. I got my hair in my mouth. So my take was slanted. Okay, here we go. Mm. Adventures of interest, I like where your head's at, but I don't know if I can do that. They say, please lick the beater together, a la Lady of the Tramp. <laughs> I see one big dial of frosting and I push it towards Lee's nose. <laughs> and you just get a big Wonko says, too sexy. He's right, big that'd be too hot. Service flash on yeah. the screen and goes blank. <laughs> Stormtroopers and purple Twitch helmets to show up and yeah. fucking kill us. <laughs> Watertown PD. Hey, we heard people were enjoying themselves and it didn't involve a truck or a sport, so uh, we got called <laughs> in here. Hey, hey we heard there were people in here thinking. You guys thinking? Are you done with the milk? Yeah. Right. Put that shit away. All right, man. Uh, so, there's that. Let's make pizza dip. There's a bag in there of pizza ingredients. Pizza what, dip ingredients. I don't know what that is. What? Yeah. What? It's like it's chopped up potatoes. That is chopped up potatoes. Uh, I was going to make uh, them for dinner last night and then got lazy. We had cut pizza instead, <laughs> which is why you see a uh, leftover pizza in there. So, Anyways, uh, all right. Time for pizza dip, which uh, the instructions, 
I believe Pizza Dip was invented by the craft company because they realized, hey, almost everything in Pizza Dip is can be bought by uh, as a craft product because they have everything because they're evil. Uh, so my mom started making Pizza Dip for Christmas. Uh, we do this thing on Christmas Eve where it's we eat only hors d'oeuvres. And I would always call it snack dinner and my mom would get mad because I, I don't think she liked that I was just calling it snacks. I think she, it made her feel like she wasn't properly feeding everybody. Which to a parent, you know, you don't like to feel like you're not feeding your kids, you know? So anyways, we'd have this snack dinner all the time and um, for Christmas Eve. And she would make pizza dip and it is so good. And so we are going to make it. And we eat it with crackers. I got the crackers. Oh, oh my god. What? <laughs> Do you see the calories? Yeah, one piece is 500 calories. Fuck it eight. That's why I eat it before January 1st. <laughs> All right. All right, so this calls for cream cheese spread, but we're not uh, fucking communists, so... So we're we using lard. No, no, we're using real cream cheese, but I let soften. It's over there. And then we also need... Oh, I need to cut up that pepper. You just basically mix everything up. Okay, so mix cream cheese spread dressing... Sour cream, half cup of mozzarella, and two tablespoons of Parmesan until blended. Okay. So that's a lot of goddamn dairy. Oh, and I happen to have Kraft Parmesan. It's going to sell out. All right. Need to dice up this pepper? Uh, uh, hold on. I don't know what we do with that yet. Uh, oh, mayonnaise is the other thing I need. I can't believe this calls for mayonnaise. It must be the Midwest. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So you need a half of an eight ounce tub of Philadelphia cream cheese spread, which to me just means four ounces of regular cream cheese, because I don't need to spread it, because I like know what I'm doing, you know? You know what I mean, man? You know what you mean. Also, this, uh, the craft directions call for us to microwave it, which we're not going to, because we're not fucking sellouts, like I just said. We're going to cook it in the oven at the same temperature the cake's cooking at, because I know what I'm doing! Sort of. Not really. When Lee is here, it makes it look like I know what I'm doing, because like there's someone doing some of the stuff. So there's less of me going like, ah, ah, you know. And I just did it with a knife really close to your face, so I'm sorry about that. You don't give a shit. You can't see a thing. You're done. It. You're done with life. You'll take a knife to the face, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again? <laughs> Again? <laughs> okay. Back in the knife face again. Whatever. Think of the ratings. Yes, the ratings. Wait, let's mix this stuff up in a bowl first. Yes. Yes. Okay, um, where's the blue bowl? We used the blue bowl. We did not use this bowl. Okay. Okay. All right. You know what you could do, my friend? What? Uh, wash out the yellow thing that you put the sauerkraut in. Yep. Because my uh, method for doing the horseradish involves squeezing out that horseradish. Put the vinegar in there. Back in the, are these some of these are clean, right? Yes, all of them are clean. Who wants to watch a mayonnaise dump? We all love a good mayonnaise dump. Oh yes. Oh man, that bottle of mayonnaise hasn't seen a stegosaurus in quite some time. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I'm just pulling out all the whitest kids references. Fuck it! Okay, where's your horseradish? Why don't you grab that? What time is it? How are we doing? Uh, what, what time it's is it? Uh, it's not even, we're not even halfway done yet. We're doing great. Okay. I think frosting the cake is going to be uh, comical, but uh, <laughs> see what happens. All right, man. Now, how much of this do we want to make? Because I will, I will often do a lot more than what this recipe calls for. <laughs> Double or triple? <laughs> let's stuff. triple it, huh? This stuff is strong. Yes! Okay, let's do six tablespoons of that. All right. <laughs> hey, you know, I can handle it. Oh, six you want me to drain it, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So take six tablespoons and put it in the thing and drain it. So where's the measuring spoons? See, now we're getting that good classic what the fuck is happening feeling people come to this show for. Here we go. Six. Six. You use every little special, then you can't find one, then you go uh, looking around, everything. All right. Let's move. Hey. God, I'm so 
sorry. Horseradish. Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. You were at five. Six. You're good. Okay. Someone just said horseradish is love stegosaurus. <laughs> That's a very good joke. Crazy spread dressing. Sour cream. How much sour cream? Half a cup of non-fat. <laughs> we're just using regular. Oh, it is light. Damn it. I didn't mean to buy light sour cream and I did it. <sighs> Back in it. I gotta stop singing. Yes, see? Do you know why I'm doing that? It's to make the sauce thicker so you can dip a cracker into it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't buy Ritz crackers. Ritz crackers go great with the horseradish soup we're making. The horseradish soup we're making is technically like to eat with steak, but I thickened it up a little bit by draining the prepared horseradish. Because once you shred horseradish, you preserve it in vinegar, right, Lee? Yes. And so I... Uh, took a, a bunch of Lee's horseradish and yeah, drained it. Work. Yeah, he's having a hard time over there. That's it's fun. Um, wow. So, uh, <laughs> you gonna make it? I'll be fine. I'm just impressed at the quality of this horseradish. <laughs> Lee's over there sucking his own dick about horseradish. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, but you, by draining it, it thickens it up a little bit so you can dip a cracker in there and it's fucking... It's fucking good. All right, so. Oh my God! I just put in way too much sour cream. <laughs> Fuck, I was looking at the horseradish directions and not the the this directions. Shit! I know how to do it, I know how to do it, I know how to do it, I know how to do it. My God. I know, but that was just a little fucked up. I got a little upset there. Do you have any crackers at all? Yeah, tons. Okay, so there's that. This will be used later for your for the horseradish dip, so that's fine. Okay, so Jesus Christ. All right, uh, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, what else do I need to put in there? Cheese spread, dressing, sour cream, half a cup of mozzarella. Oh God, I didn't shred the cheese. Didn't shred cheese. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can do it too. Oh God. Excuse me. Oh, hey. You shred some cheese. I'm gonna go get our snack. While we're making all these snacks, I've prepared another snack. Just letting you know. Nice. So I don't fuck around. Yeah. Uh, use the scissors. Ooh. I don't know why we're looking in that drawer. Um, I had one somewhere. There it is. Just use this. It's fine here. Oh, you didn't need it. You're strong and brave. Did you know this was on? Did you know it was cooking? I didn't know. Did you smell? No. Well, I can smell his horseradish. What's in there? Oh, you can smell his horseradish. That makes sense. Do you like those? Yeah. I poured in a lot of Cholula into this. Ooh, it's a little more watery than I like. That's okay. They're going to taste good. I made these last year on the show, so I'm not counting them as a recipe, but I put a package of little Smokies with a little bit of grape jelly, barbecue sauce, and a lot of Cholula, because I noticed my Cholula expired last month, so I'm like, let's get rid of it. So, uh, there you go. And what else? I think that's all I put in there. There's some for you, and I do have toothpicks. How are you doing on the shredding? Need help? I don't know what Cholula is. It's a Mexican hot sauce, buddy. It's really good. I mean, I don't know if it's Mexican. You can buy it around here, so it's probably just another white person thing, but it's <laughs> Mexican-style hot sauce. <laughs> um, okay. How much of that do we need? I don't know. Well, I'm going to look. Three-fourths of a cup. Probably oh. got to keep going. Um, where's really? my three-fourths of a cup measuring cup? I'm, I'm Are you mumbling over there? Way over three quarters. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Where is that one? Here it is. Okay. I'm using my new mixing cups. We're having fun. What kind of cheese? Time. Oh, it's mozzarella. Okay. Mozzarella. All right, so just get that out of the way. Put no, no, no. that away later. All right, Dan. Uh, yeah, make sure it's three fourths of a cup, which it definitely is. And then put it in here. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need a total three fourths of a cup? We only need half a cup right now. Oh. So, is this one clean? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> just use that. Give me this. All right. So then we just know that we need a fourth cup later. So then throw it in here, my friend. We just been dressing sour cream. Half cup mozzarella and two tablespoons of Parmesan. Get the sour cream cheese out of the way here. Um, where'd I put the parm? No, where'd I put the measuring spoon? There we go. These dads are making other dads look less great. That's right! Suck it, other dads! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I love my dad. Well, you, you like your dad, right? Oh, yeah. See? We're fine, but seriously, fuck all you guys. All right. Did you want to talk about like white Midwestern snacks? Like, look how white this is. This is all just whiteness. It's four. It's five different things. And it's just white. It's like our comedy troupe. I guess that works. Yo, you want some toothpicks? Oh, let's use the fancy toothpicks. It's a party. The fancy. Oh! Okay, no, here, you can eat them, eat, use it out of the box, or have to use it off the floor. Good God. That is going, you know what that's going to do? That's going right through a sock into my foot later, when I'm not paying attention. Probably about ten minutes from now. How are these? Are they done? Yeah. Are they too hot? Everyone loves a tiny weenie. Not that we would know. Right? Schwanz. All right. All right, I'm going to mix this up. Well, this doesn't make a whole lot. I'm going to use a smaller pan. Hmm. Oh, and I don't have pizza sauce, so I'm using this fancy spaghetti sauce that I bought. Pasta sauce. Where is it? It's over there. I might use a smaller dish. Let's see. Hey, you wanted to cut up that pepper. Uh -huh. We just need a fourth, we just need it chopped, and we only yeah. need a quarter cup's worth. Good. 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 You know, I have another set of measuring cups. What was that? That's just your phone? No, I thought I had a noiser shut off. Yeah. There's toothpicks on the floor now? Yeah, fucking why not? Okay, so there's that. Mix cream cheese spread, dressing sour cream, half cup of mozzarella, and uh, two tablespoons of Parmesan until blended. Spread on the bottom of the of the. Uh, this says microwavable pie plate, but we're not fucking sellouts. That's what I'm trying to say. Actually, you know what? Since these are just putting on a pie plate, I've got a goddamn pie plate. That's what we're gonna do. Sorry, that was so loud, everybody. Okay, there's candy everywhere because my daughter and I both got so much candy for Christmas. I want to get an opinion. You know, the internet, I know that people on the internet hate to give their opinions on things. It's just not a cool thing to do. But my daughter has, is into these gummy cola bottles. I think these are terrible. Do you, th do you like them? You know these? You've had these. We had those. Do you like those? They're okay. She thinks they're great. My dad loves them too, and I just think they're both out of their goddamn minds. The two are not mutually exclusive. Right. Yeah, I mean, look, we're stupid. We're crazy, too. But I'm just sick. Okay, so we're making the pizza dip. I keep smallening the container. That this should be about right. Who's ready for some more sexy glopping? You know what, Lee? We're going to need more toothpicks because we got to test that cake. How's your chopping going, buddy? Chopping. You still got all your fingers? Most of them. I'm sure someone in the chat is telling you that you're wrong about it, because they do love to do that to me. Maybe they're nice 11. to you. Huh? I'm down to 11. Down to 11. Oh, he's the one that killed uh, Nigo Montoya's dad. That's right. I always forget that about you. Now, if you want to talk about getting real fucking fat on New Year's, Super Bowl, uh, World Cup party, fucking Day of the Dead, 
What else is uh, you get fat, good eat snacks on Christmas Eve? Fat Tuesday. Fat Tuesday, yeah. Uh, I mean, that's just cheese, and we've only just begun here, so. You wanted a quarter cup of that? You got your stuff. Whoa! All right. One cup traditional pizza sauce. Like I said, I fucked up. And I got uh, uh, Gustare Vita Product of Italy tomato basil pasta sauce. I think this will still be good. So, where's my cup? Running out of stuff. Here we go. Okay. Maybe. How's the cake looking? We might be done on that. Very cake. Let me stab it. Poke him. And where's the hot glove? Let's get Lee the hot glove. I gotta wipe this out real quick. You know what? Things seem pretty chaotic right now. I feel like maybe they look a little chaotic. Uh, but we're almost done with like all the food. Well, we do gotta, uh, we do have to frost the cake, which uh, that's not a thing I'm good at. I don't really enjoy it. It's just not something I do. Okay, so. So pasta sauce is a little runnier than pizza sauce, but I think this will still be fine. This so, toothpick says it's done. Nothing came out? Nothing. Take those bastards out of there, buddy. Okay. And obviously it's more red than pizza sauce. That's okay, this is all okay. I have a brother who is a professional pizza uh, maker. He uh, designed all the pizzas at Dayblock Brewing in Minneapolis. Uh, he also works for a frozen food company now. And one of the things he does with them, obviously, is, is make new frozen pizzas, which is cool. It's a job that fat idiots who used to be stoners like me uh, appreciate, you know, like, oh, you're making better frozen pizza, kick ass, you know. Um, anyways, uh, he might yell at me for this, but he also would make weird shit pizza. So not shit pizza, but like weird pizza out of different things. Okay, so a couple of pizza sauce. This is uh, 16 slices of pepperoni cut into quarters, but I'm not going to cut these into quarters. Oh. Now. There's a few stand-up bits we need to address that I used to do. Uh, I used to do one about how I hate when comedians call dating weird. Because it's not weird. Like, everybody does it. Um, but then I talk about how tough a breakup is, and... Uh, oh, I can't open this. But anyways, I, I, I'm not, it, it, that's not what matters. I was just going for a silly description of, like, when you're having a tough time. And I can't... Speaking of tough time, I can't even get this stupid thing open. But, uh... Anyways, all I'm getting at is I was talking about being depressed, and one thing I said was eating pieces of pe eating a sack of pepperoni like it's a bag of potato chips. You've seen me do that, right? What, are you just eating the horseradish? Is that the measured stuff? No. That's out of the jar. Yeah. I almost fucking punched him. All right. Oh, we need to turn that light off. Turn that light off, will you? Are you okay? Are you eating raw horseradish? Ah, yeah. Silly son of a bitch. Ah, yeah. All right. Ah. Anyways, I just always thought it was a funny description of uh, going through shit where it's like it's eating. We're good. Nobody cares, man. Oh. <laughs> Lee's okay. He's okay. The light was great. The light was so bright. Uh, no, 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 no. That's turning off the oven. There we go. We don't want to turn off the oven because we're no. gonna bake this too. Don't clean off the oven. No. Dude, we're using so many more pepperonis than what they suggest. That's a good looking cake, buddy. Yeah? I'm excited. Turn that light on. That's okay. up here. That's okay. high. Do we need to turn them upside down or anything? I don't know. Is that a thing? Yeah, you onto some newspaper. The newspaper? So they fall out of the pan. Oh, we'll get them out of the pan on the cutting board or something. We don't need newspaper. You want a piece okay. of pepperoni? Yeah. Who doesn't love it? Are you really going to wrestle in it? Absolutely not. We're already sweaty and gross. Just by standing up for more than 10 minutes. <laughs> right? I know you feel that, Lee. Okay. Oh it's looking good. Okay. Here comes all the pepper. Mm. Now, people keep asking me to do a pizza making episode. I, I will eventually because I can do it. I love it. I just haven't gotten around to it. This is pretty close, though. All right, what else do we do? Oh, hair in my mouth, sorry, okay. We need another tablespoon of this and another quarter cup of the uh, shredded mozz. How to cheese? Yeah, go for it. 
Pretty. Can someone tell me who is Timmy's guest? I mean, I don't know. I know that the camera makes people look a little different, but it's Tom, Tom Cruise, obviously. He's been going on about Xenu all night. Pretty and cheap. This is my friend Lee, a.k.a. Sidecar Driver. He's a machinist slash motorcycle rider slash comedian slash gardener slash peddler of horseradish, zucchini, and sauerkraut. He is the reason this show is called Zucchini Boys. And uh, since we already put in way more pepperoni than suggested, we're going to go wild with the cheese too. Fuck it! Right? As longtime Whitest Kid's friend Chris Scorpion would say, fuck it! Okay, so uh, let's just put this in there for a while. I forgot to ask my mom how long she would put this in here. We'll just do 10 minutes and see what happens. Now let's get the horseradish sauce done, huh? Sure. Let's let these girls cool on something that's not pro 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 projecting heat. Oh, how about on my new cutting board? Yay! Well, let's cut pepper on it. Okay, I got a new bamboo cutting board for Christmas, too. Yay! And my daughter gave me slippers, which I really needed and wanted and should be wearing right now. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed by how messy everything is, but I think it's okay. Uh, so we need another bowl. You ate all your weenies? Good sure Good boy, is. good boy. You can have more if you want. What kind of bowl do you want? Uh, like a round one. You want a metal um, bowl? Huh? You want a metal bowl? Yeah, just do that one. This is just for the horseradish sauce. Okay. What else do we need in the horseradish besides horseradish? Where's that slip? Here we go. Need more. more. Huh? Gotta, I chopped up way too much pepper. That's okay. We'll just throw it in the fridge. Look at that. Pop Whoa. right out. That's why you flour and butter it. This sexy lady's ready for the dance. This has sauerkraut in it. Sauerkraut cake. Warning. Take one in. Take one in. The sauerkraut. Take one in. That's a bad idea. Take one in. What? Did you just do a Tim Allen, you know? Is it going to separate? Huh? Is it going to separate over? The cake? Oh! Oh, fuck! Most of it. Eh. Just Did I go too fast? Hold it. There. Did I go too fast, Lee? Oh, you're fine. All right, well, I fucked that up a little bit if you can't see. I, uh, yeah, they can't see. Hold on. Bring the two halves together. Just Shut up. i got to show them first, but you're right. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up the bunk cake. Bring it out of the pan. All right, so we're do we're tripling the recipe with the horseradish. You want to get that out there? Yeah. I went to I went a little uh, I I I uh, yeah. I didn't do that well. It's embarrassing. Okay, so this is where we have to do math. Are you just eating the cake? Is it good? It's good. Huh? Yeah, it's good. Is it tasty? Can you it's taste the sauerkraut? No, you can't taste the sauerkraut. You can't taste the sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this horseradish. Woo! Wow! What is wrong with us? Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that doesn't even need to be on anymore. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Three tablespoons of cider vinegar. That was too hot. Oh, yeah, you're... <laughs> Drink some water, man. You should have let it cool. He needs to make homemade baked beans, LOL. Uh, Fuzzy Pickle needs to go to YouTube, LOL. What is uh, WKUK VODs, LOL. And look at last February 14th, LOL. When I did, for a Valentine to the fans, I did all uh, Timmy food references that people say too much uh, recipes. So there you go. LOL. Okay. I was expecting... Kind of some coconut texture in there. And there's not? It just like dissipated or what? Yeah. Wow. Okay, three teaspoons of dry mustard. Mm. Now this says dry red pepper in the recipe. I thought they meant cayenne. Don't you think that's what they mean? I don't know. they say red pepper? Well, what else would they mean? Paprika? <laughs> making some beer cake? No, we're drinking beer and making cake. So it's a sauerkraut make... cake. Yeah, it's a sauerkraut Maybe cake. Maybe someone got here late they didn't know. A lot of people did. But, but you can still be an asshole to them, I figured it out. <laughs> uh, 
Um, let's just try it. Where's the little whisk I had? Did we ever I, use this? No. No. Okay. Um, one teaspoon dry mustard, but we're tripling this, so we need we need another teaspoon. Where's the this one get cleaned out ish? Yeah. And there's just a lot of stuff happening everywhere. Um, do we? Uh, I guess we could start. What are, what are we doing with this cake that we, I fucked up? Oh, you made it look better. It looks fine. All right, we'll get to that in a second. Um, ooh, I actually want, there's a gray one teaspoon that's better shaped for scooping out of little jars. Yep, right here. Okay. See, it fits in there better than the other oh, thing did. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing three teaspoons of that. And then, since we're tripling this, we're going to be doing nine tablespoons of mayonnaise. This is going to have what you call flavor. <laughs> this is going to be very sharp. Hand me the whole thing of teaspoon of uh, teaspoons, please. Okay. Sour cream, definitely yeah. need that. Oh, oh, we still need that. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. This is going to be spicier than we might like it, but... Okay. All right. Now we need. <laughs> we might not have enough sour cream for having tripled this recipe, because uh, we need a cup and a half of sour cream. That's a lot, right? That's that's a lot. But it's not. Is it ever too much with sour cream? Yeah. Sour cream's delicious. Yeah. Hey, we should probably check on the pizza dip too. Oh yeah. Did you have a timer on it? I did, but I don't know, you know, I don't know, I just yes, 10 minutes, so I don't really know if that's enough time, too much time, we're going to regret this, whatever. Hey, uh, I forget all my conversions, so what are, okay. nine tablespoons is like actually a cup measurement. Nobody Google it. Well, I'm, I was going to Google it, so someone can oh, Google it. Oh, looks, it looks right. The cheese is all melted. Wait till it gets brown. That's not melted. All right. Let it go a little bit more. All right. Thank you. Okay, first we'll take this sour cream out of there. Um, okay, uh, do you want to frost a cake? What Can't do you want to do? Just, uh, there's more spatulas around. Can do. What are you looking for? Spatulas. Yeah, you know, I think we're going through them pretty fast. Wow, we are going to be out of sour cream. <laughs> That's fucking nuts. Oh, well. Did anyone look up uh, how many nine, how, uh, what nine uh, tablespoons of mayonnaise is? Do you know, Lee? I believe it's going to end up being a half a cup, but I'm not sure. Oh, walk. One gallon? Okay, so people are stupid and think they're funny. All right. Yeah, Wonko's lipping. Oh, Wonko? Fucking Wonko. Excuse me. It's a little more than a half a cup. Good. Oh, I better check donations. It's been like an hour. Okay. Sam rules. Sam, Sam rules. San donated a hundred bucks. Thank you. Here's a hundred bucks of my Christmas money. The best present would be the completion of Mars. We're getting there. Thank you. You the best, Timmy. Thanks for streaming. Sam Craiger donated five bucks. Much love from Seattle to you, Beer Belly Brothers. Uh, I don't like that implication. I feel like Lee and I are both very svelte and very uh, bikini body sort of people. Uh, anyway, Sam Craig donated five bucks. Much love from Seattle to you, Beer Belly Brothers. This is some of the most interesting food I've ever seen attempted. Best of luck to Venus. Okay, we'll take that one too. Mm. All right. Mm. Where was I here? What are you doing? Is that Sam? Is Sam Krieger? Uh, yeah, I think it is relation. I believe. Oh, so, mm -hmm. cool. So. Mm. You know, I don't always know when it comes to other people's yeah. people. I don't know how much I'm supposed to say, so yeah. I don't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. I like to keep secrets. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, go for it, man. So, you know how to, you ever use a kitchen in? Do you go like this? Boink. Oh, God. We're almost done with all this. Oh, the fucking pizza dip. Mm. How's it looking? Is the cheese melty? The cheese is melting. Is it bubbling? The cheese is not bubbling. Let me get a good look at that. 
Take one in, take one in. Alright, wow, I can't believe we used an entire tub of sour cream on this show. Goes right to my hips! Yeah, you just getting in on it, man? You love it? I can't wait to try it. Okay, I want this to get a little, uh, I want this to, we need to do, uh, what's that fucking stupid asshole say? We need to turn it up a notch! Right? Oh, shit. What I'm doing right now is cooking with my gut. Um, okay, so now we need a half cup of mayonnaise, then we're done with this. There's so much horseradish dip. But I can <laughs> eat, dude, here's the thing is I've been, you know, dealing with a lot of stuff this year, and so eating way too much, and I would make that uh, about a month ago, I made this much of that horseradish dip, like a tripled recipe, and just ate it all, watching, watching Grizzly Man, which is a kind of a, we talked about last week, a very terrifying documentary. Have you seen it? No, I was familiar with the guy's story, so I have not watched the documentary because he's a butthole. Yeah, he thought he, you know, he, he did not understand animals. No. <laughs> no, it's too bad that he brought someone else. Well, it's too bad that he died, even though he was an idiot. But um, because honestly, he, I think he had a lot of un, undealt with mental issues. Is really the deal there. <laughs> it's a Norm Macdonald sketch. A bit. He died doing what he loved. <laughs> yeah, the one where he's uh, making fun of Sylvester Stallone the whole time. Are you really stacking those? Oh, Lee, you're doing a great job. Now we need to fill the middle with like ball bearings or something, right? Here, we're going to switch around. Here's how what I learned doing a cooking show. You put the big thing behind so people can oh, see the cake. Sure. And I'm still in the way too, but I'm going to get out of your way. Okay. And you can come up right to the front. Okay. Because that's beautiful. Now, I don't know. There's other people out there my age. I remember on Sesame Street, there was a video they would always play on Sesame Street. You know, sometimes they'd play random videos of people doing stuff. Uh -huh, and uh -huh, uh -huh. it was a guy decorating a cake, and they, there was this great music to it that was just uh, like a hi-hat cymbal. It was awesome. I don't think I'd describe it very well, but um, where'd my gray thing go? <laughs> Shit, man. Honestly, where is it? Which gray thing? Uh, it's a spatula thing. Oh, is it the one inside here? What? No, 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 it's gray. It's long gray plastic thing. Hmm. Rubber. Dude. Long gray I rubber. Plastic. Fucking crazy today. I really don't know where to put that. Anyways, let's get this out of there. Are there people in the chat being like, Timmy, it's right there! God damn it! <laughs> think, Where is it? Did uh, I drop it somewhere? No. There's one person that says they love watching cake decorating videos, and this is going to be such a disappointment to them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, so man, you know what This I'm is more about? spackling and the idea, yeah, sheet you're, rock work. You're, like a, you're a handyman <laughs> character, so, so you're attacking that not like an artiste, but as someone who's trying to like paint a bathroom wall. Yeah, right? where Kyle put his fist <laughs> through the sheetrock. We'll patch that Fucking right up. Kyle. Fucking Kyle. Dude, where did the gray thing go? <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> We'll play oh, that. It's in the tub of sour cream. Jeez. Is it cake Christ. or fake? What is that? Oh, that's this video my son watches where they have all the, the cakes that look like something else. Oh, they, those are great. And they try to guess which it is before they cut it. It's too bad it became a thing. I remember this shit was just a, a weird one video, but that's never how it works anymore. Yeah. You're like, oh, I should make the same thing 13 times. Great. Thank you. He's nine. Butthole. No, I'm not, He's, not calling your son a butthole. He's I mean, maybe a little bit of a butthole. Kids are buttholes, man. Yeah. I used to... People would get offended when I'm like, when my daughter's going to be born, I'm like, yeah, well, she's a baby. we got to be ready for it because babies are assholes. People are like, oh! I'm like, no, babies are assholes. That's why I wrote that bit. I'm not trying to just talk about my stand-up bit so much, but the thing is, is there... Babies are... Oh, that looks great, man. We have sprinkles and stuff. Or, oh. Yo, you know what we should do, dude? Here, I bought all these that we didn't get to use for Christmas cookie making. I want you to come over here. We're not going to show them yet. Should we decorate it with these? Angel cake. 
Okay, but don't say anything what this is. So start decorating with these. Don't show them. Don't put your whole back to the camera so it's just a black t-shirt. But, uh... <laughs> There's that horseradish dip done. All right, where's the hot glove? All right, put the first one right on the front so they see what you're doing. Okay, now we're getting to what daddy likes here. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna cook that a little bit more. <laughs> Do they like it? <laughs> Please be eyeballs. <laughs> I put a bunch of eyes on something last year. I can't remember what it was. But you know, I like to randomly sing songs, and I got a good one for that. <clears throat> candy eyes. I probably you up with candy eyes. Candy eyes. You got a dairy candy eyes. I'm gonna chop up the rest of this pepper. Candy eyes. Do they like it? <laughs> Lee, what did you do with this pepper? Is that how you cut peppers? Do you know how to get the seeds out? It's okay. I'm not trying to make fun of you. You know what? I've accidentally learned how to do a lot of stuff for having this stupid... Well, every, I look at it and go, I should save these seeds and plant them. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. So <laughs> okay. Different, different kinds of insanity <laughs> mixing together. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's what it's all about, pal. Look, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, and I'm cutting. I love them. I love to give people shit. Sometimes people give me shit. People fucking shit. Oh. Alright, I should probably check out that pizza dip again. Oh, yeah. Candy dip pizza dip. It's too far removed from the sound of the original song, so it's not as funny. Yeah. Weird Al Don't Poop. How much, uh, now here's the thing is those are like sweet tarts, so that's gotta make it look, taste bad. Also, we did not wait for the cake to cool down. No. Which is why the frosting is melting. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get close. <laughs> Kill me, please. End my <laughs> suffering, please. I have a fucking abomination. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, who's ready for horseradish dip? There's so much frosting left! Yes. Well, how's that looking? The same. It hasn't changed. It looks exactly like it did earlier. Well, there's a lot of dairy in there. and oh, uh, So much dairy. It is starting to bubble around the sides. Yes. I'm going to give it another few minutes. All right. Crank it up a little bit. You can't really fuck it up. All right, so Lee, you yeah. know, the horseradish dip. So right. you know, I th so see how it's a little more yes, it's not as sturdy. It's, right, it's not so runny. So it's let's nice. get some crackers ready. That's really nice. Thank you. Toast Toasteds Toast will work. We don't have Ritz crackers, but Toasteds are great saltyish cracker for this, right? So let's move. Uh, what are we naming our cake child? The abomination. The abomination. All right. All right. Uh, go for it, man. It's yeah. your horseradish. Dig in. Sure. Ready? Should we cheers? This is our first creation that we're tasting. Cheers. Cheers, my cracker. There we go. Oh, that's really yummy. Yeah. You guys really try this dip out. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, and it's not too much, and it, it has some kick, and if you let it sit for a, a little while, too, it really gets going with the horseradish flavor. Ooh. Yeah, it is extremely hard to not just sit there, right, and eat it all. You notice a little hint of the hot, spicy pepper at the end? It's good. Yeah. Horseradish chip, and as I said, if you did not drain your prepared horseradish first, it'd be a little more watery, and it's good for a dip and steak sauce in, but here it's thick. Yeah. That's thick super. and stiff. So, Eric? Eric. Eric's Eric, a good name. Eric. I think I'm remembering that from one of your stand-up bits. Syphilis Eric. What? Right. You tell him the story? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's your story. I want to tell a story. <laughs> Do it. 
So there's a few basic rules of riding with motorcycle clubs. You're not allowed to give yourself your own nickname, right? Otherwise, everyone gives their own, themselves their own nickname. Everyone just calls themselves Bandit, right? It's kind of lame. But the other rule is never ask for a nickname. You ask for a nickname, you get a bad nickname. Just ask Syphilis Eric. There used to be this bar in town, the Harbor Bar, where a whole lot of people earned their nicknames. One time in the spring, the, the rain had fallen and it had pushed all these muskrats out of the sewer system and they're running around in the streets. Right? So one guy he goes outside. Please, one second, please describe a muskrat. There's, a muskrat. They're not everywhere. Okay, muskrat's like a small beaver with a little pointed tail instead of a flat tail. Simple as that. Anyway, the guy goes outside and he grabs a muskrat. He brings it in pulled by the tail. And he flops it on the top of the bar and the muskrat's running up and down the bar. They got teeth like a beaver, kind of angry little animal with claws. And everyone thought that was hilarious with this muskrat running up and down the uh, down the bar. And the bartender got pissed off, said get that filthy animal out of here and tell him to take the muskrat with him. <laughs> so he picks up the muskrat and he walks the muskrat outside and he's holding it by the tail. And another guy just pie-eyed outside, sees him holding this muskrat by the tail. That means drunk. That pie-eyed means drunk. <laughs> and grabs this, here is 54. And grabs this muskrat around the midriff, right? And the muskrat goes full muskrat, just ripping and clawing and shredding this guy's hand, right? And the guy's screaming, and he's beating the muskrat against the wall of the bar so the muskrat falls to the ground dead. And he's standing there holding his just shredded hand, just messed up hand. He says, I need to call the police. He's going to report a crime about a muskrat, right? So the cops show up, and the cops got his little shoulder microphone. He's in the microphone. Uh, we're going to need an ambulance here at the Harbor Bar. There's been a muskrat attack. The muskrat may have been provoked. So anyway, that's how both, that's how both Lefty and Muskrat got their nicknames. Now, I don't want to do too much behind the magic here. How much of that story is true? One hundred percent true. Oh my God! Are you Every serious? last bit of that really? is true. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible, man. Mm -hmm. Give us a shout out if you'd watch me and Lee do a stand-up show, which we should do sometime. We should yeah. do it while we have. But I mean, syphilis, Eric. That's true too, and he's, he's <laughs> he, you know, he's calling Sif. <laughs> Like Thor's ex-girlfriend. All right. Well, I'm going to sit here and eat horseradish for a while and just think about yeah, my life. Else, what the fuck is a muskrat? See? I told you. They're <laughs> not everywhere. People need to know. Say it again. Explain it again. They're like a small beaver, except they've got a pointy tail. Mm -hmm. And uh, instead they of... They build little houses in the... In right. The, just like, they act like a beaver, but they're about as big as a football and angry. They are a pissed off little animal. All teeth and claws. they got a little pointy tail instead of the beaver tail. They're like honey badgers, only they're not memed to death, and they're everywhere. Yeah. They're literally filling up the storm sewers in town. Yeah. But they're not like a sewer rat. They're a, they have a pelt. They're a wild animal. They have a pelt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there you go. Nutria. Someone mentioned Nutria. Sure. You like Similar. a Nutria. Smaller. Way smaller. But. Muskrat or Nutria smaller? But Nutria is huge. Okay. Yeah. This sounds like a food additive, doesn't it? What? Nutria. Just sounds like a food additive. It does, because it's like Nutra Sweet. Oh. All right, let's take that. Uh, I think the pizza dip's done. Okay. Now, see, I turn it up to 450, which is what you often bake pizza at. And there you oh, go. There's the man. bubbling. Yeah. There's the brown. There's what Dad needs in his life right here. Oh, yeah. So we're going to let this little bad bitch sit for a second. I'm going to show the people. Close the door, please. Thank you. Here's the pizza dip. So soon, we'll be taking crackers into this motherfucker. You can use a little toastette if you want. However, growing up when mom would make this for every holiday or whatever, we had a specific kind of cracker we would dip these in. Or dip in these. Bretons. Those are the big flat wheat crackers. Oh. You know those? I've never seen them. My parents always have them. They always have them. I can't find them fucking anywhere, so I got some similar ones. 
but they're more of a buttery cracker. But they're, I realize that the size of cracker I want, there is an official name for the size of cracker. It's entertainment cracker. Did you know that? I did not know that. Now you know. Nope. And knowing is half the battle. <laughs> entertainment cracker, okay? <laughs> entertainment cracker. Also, me being a member of the Whitest Kids You Know makes me an entertainment cracker. So, all right. Do you like that joke? A little I bit did. of racial humor? I did like that. Okay. All right. So, we got to let that sit. Okay. Horseradish dip is great. Yep. What are we doing here with that? You uh, should try carrot? the cake. I've eaten a lot of the cake already. But you haven't had it with frosting yet. No, I haven't. Oh, let's do it. This is special. <laughs> this is our special cake. <laughs> special cake. Burr! Burr! Cake's on, burr! Oh, hey, here's the deal, man. So I've never been in that apartment upstairs. I've lived here forever, and I've never been in that apartment upstairs. I don't... I'm not glad that I've been here this long, but I've been here this long. And, uh... I've never been upstairs. Now, my neighbor, Rob, I'm just going to keep pontificating with this knife everywhere. So, anyways, I, uh, so, uh, uh, but, <laughs> so I've never been upstairs, and then Rob, who, uh, my upstairs neighbor, who's in Florida right now, texts me a picture of him in a Hawaiian shirt, sipping a fruity drink outside. He's like, it's 68 here today, man, because it was like, the day he texted me was like yesterday or the day before, and it was like three below at the high today, yeah. yesterday. It was yeah. bad. Anyways. And that's not including wind chill, which makes it feel even worse, and it's always windy here. So, anyways, uh, Rob texts me. He's like, hey, man, I'm in Florida. Look. And I'm like, yeah, okay, fuck fuck you. <laughs> he says, go, you know, I need you to, he gave me a key to the apartment to keep an eye on it while he's gone. He's going to be gone for a while. So, I like, said, can you go upstairs and turn the thermostat on? I went up there, and I did not expect it to be the same exact layout of my place. Only every room is a little bit smaller because it's upstairs, you know, it's, and there's a, a slanted roof and everything. So, it's weird. Because when I'm sitting down here by myself, spanking it, I uh, will hear him walking around, right? And I would always hear him in this area, and I'd always think, what fucking room is he in that he's hanging out in all the time, right? Then I find out that that is also his kitchen. And Rob. I was like, who the fuck hangs out in their kitchen all the time? Rob. Yeah, that's really weird <laughs> to do. Anyways, let's eat this cake. Um, should we cut it? Is it cooled down enough? We don't care. Ah. But the thing is, is I was going to take... Well, you're going to take some to your family, probably. I was going to take some to my family. Is it a problem that it's covered in eyes? <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You know what? Wait a minute. We need to We need to document this properly. Yeah. Okay? I'm going to snap a photo of it. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Of the eyeball cake. Yeah. Come here. Get your face right by mine. Oh, okay. Do a selfie, cool. selfie shot. Right? Oh God! Or no, you know what? Maybe you should get. Can you get your head over there somehow? <laughs> How do we both get in this? If you can lean down so your face. There we go. Okay, so this is terrible. I'm like a fucking aunt and a mom combined. Okay, there we go. Right? Okay, put your head a little bit. There you go. Okay. Did that work? Oh, that's great. Okay, you, you so, know, you can't even see all the damage over here. No. The camera can't see that. Oh, so you're taking a picture of the damage. All right, hold on. I'm going to do something that's going to... People are going to love it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do some stuff. Give me a second. Nate, stop typing in all caps. I'm on it, you little bastard. God. <laughs> Jimmy, do this. This thing is saying all caps things. Okay. Oh, this might not work, actually. I might I might do it with email instead of with this. We'll see. This is just quicker sometimes when it works. What is my password? Okay. There we go. Ah, no, no, it was all broken. Okay, so we're gonna do it a different way. But I'm gonna get myself a picture so everybody can see it. Anyways, Lee, uh, did you get a good picture of the cake? You want to start cutting it while I do this? Mm. I got a good picture of the cake. Okay.
Cutting it? So, well, you know, the cake was too warm to frost, and it yeah. frosted anyway. So now it's all, falling apart. You no, know, it just piled into the middle, so there's this pool of chocolate. Oh my god, it's middle. great. That's crazy. So instead of being 500 calories per slice, it's now 700 calories per <laughs> slice. Hell yeah! <laughs> I know. It's be great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick breather while I get some together. Wait, where's the uh how do I do this thing? Uh I forgot how to do that. Never mind. Okay, never mind. We're back. We're back. Oh I know what we'll just do this. <laughs> sloth button. Hell yeah, sloth button. <laughs> Eric. Okay. Come on, work, you little bitch. Yes. Dude, it's yeah. upside down! Why is it upside down? Why is it upside down? I have to adjust that. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I don't understand what happened there. That's okay. Oh, is that my cake? Yeah. I'm gonna, it's gonna be good. Look at that. Okay, we need to figure out why this is upside down. <laughs> <laughs> why is it upside down? <laughs> Whatever, let's just show it. Ready? Oh wait, it's too big, hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this is fucking crazy. Okay, I kind of like it upside down, but I kind of think we should maybe... <laughs> okay, so, but why, though? Okay, can I flip it? I think I can flip it in here. Oh god. Flip it good. Okay. Did that work? That didn't work. Why is this not working? The people who are tech savvy are just losing their mind. Oh, they hate it. And I love it. Flip horizontal. I'm trying to do that. It didn't work. It's yeah. okay. Uh, so we're going to get rid of it for now. I'll figure it out. So. <laughs> How are you doing, everybody? It's perfect. Hi. We're back. <laughs> oh, God. What am I doing, man? See, I can't wait to be on the different computer soon. It's going to be fucking epic. All right. I'm going to do some stuff. Flip vertical. I tried, Wonko. I know... Uh, it, but it didn't God, do anything, Wonko. and we're not gonna fucking talk about God, it anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and edit the picture. I don't know why I did that, but it's fine. <laughs> everything's fine. Everything's fine. And everything's fine. Why is this fine? Okay, so we're gonna try it again. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, we'll get it figured out. But this is listen. Mm. Honestly, Wonko has a B-axis rotation problem. Yeah, B for <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's okay. We met Wonko in real life. He gave me a ham once. Okay, so <laughs> it wasn't like a fun ham. It was. He told me, he handed me a large cured salted ham and said, I have given you a task. And he was fucking right. Oh, the photo's upright. The computer's upside down. And that's not what, no, that's not it. <laughs> that's okay, though. We're <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know, man. Okay. <laughs> still upside down, still too big. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Let's do this. Oh, okay. I got it. Here we go. Ah <laughs> almost there, buddy. You think you got it? Did it. It was not the one Wonko told me. It was another thing, and I'm not gonna tell anybody. Secret thing. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, here we go. Here's the picture of us with Eric. Ready? <laughs> it did it again! It fucking did it again! Why did it do it again? How did it... Why did it do it again? I don't understand! There! Hey! I did it! There it is! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with... Oh my god. Anyways, there's us with Eric. Holy shit, now let's eat Eric's fucking head. Right? <laughs> How is it? It's fantastic. It's really? amazing. Even without frosting. You, the sauerkraut, it probably holds the moisture in. Hell if I know. But yeah, chocolate sauerkraut cake. That's fantastic. This is great. This is a very good cake. Isn't it amazing? It's great. Yeah. yeah. You cut me such a big piece. <laughs> you know, this is a big cake. You know when they say 500 calories per slice, I wonder how big of a slice that was supposed <laughs> to be. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, speaking of calories... We're going to put Eric away. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. So, Lee, let's use the big crackers. Yeah, the flavor, no, you do not taste the sauerkraut. No. It's nice, chocolatey, sweet flavor like chocolate cake is supposed to be. Very moist. That's what the sauerkraut does. I just told you what it tasted like. Okay, Lee, so uh, get in there. You just dive just dip. In yeah, you, you can dip. You can use a fork or a knife if you want to. You might need to. Here, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. See, Whoa. normally what you do at a party, this is probably still very hot. Is it hot? Is it really hot still? No, well, perfect. Okay, cool. Um, normally what you do at a party is you get your little paper plate and put a bunch on here. Also, the pasta sauce, since it's not pizza sauce, it makes it a little runnier. But how's the flavor? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a bunch of cheese and pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh. It's better than a pizza bite. Uh huh. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good stuff. Mm. Well, be sure to try out the 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 links for the recipes because this horseradish dip was fantastic. Mm hmm. Mm. Um. On my Instagram, Timmy Williams is pretty. Twitter, Timmy is a nerd. Or Timmy Williams on Facebook. Go to any of those. I posted the recipes earlier today with a Zucchini Boys logo post, so check it out. The pizza dip that I made, I changed a little bit from the recipe. I used regular softened cream cheese. I used pasta sauce, but should have used pizza sauce. That's the only mistake here, but uh, it's very good. And they suggest chopping out the pepperoni. I didn't do that. And also, they suggest microwaving it like a fucking asshole. I cooked it, and it ended up cooking well at 450. You'd probably be, get away with 425. Because you want it to get a little brown, crispy, and bubbly on the outside. And then, you know what you really do at Mom's Holiday Snack Dinner? Here's what you do. You get a plate. You got to get a plate. Get a plate. You know, moms love making you get a plate. Where's the spoon for things? Where's the black spoon? I haven't used the black spoon. I used it for the wieners. There it is. Oh, All right. okay. So you get a plate, right? You get this. Okay, you get a little bit. Get to, you can get a plate out yeah, if you want. And then you get, then you one. do this. Oh, no, here we go. Right, then you do this. Okay. Then you burp. Definitely got to burp. Okay. Then you do this. Right, you put a little, put a little horseradish on your plate. Where did we put that? There it is. And we're not going to put Eric on top of this right now, but he'll be involved. And then you get, see, so you got a plate of your snacks. You some crackers. I don't think I need to explain what getting a plate means. I think everybody understands that you get a plate and you put fucking food on it. You're using a bowl, which I like. Because oh, yeah. well, you're, you you're too respectful. You are afraid to dirty my dishes. I appreciate that. And my if my parents or anyone else is going to be at my folks' house for New Year's Eve, which is not very many people because we are smart and don't do COVID stuff. I mean, we do the COVID stuff, which means we're not going to do stuff. Anyways, it's my parents or two brothers. If they're watching, I know that doesn't look like there's much left. Well, I got enough ingredients to do a second one. So, I'll do it tomorrow. Mmm. Mm. This is not a bad idea. Hi, Molly. Molly. Oh, hey, Molly. Uh, yo, Timmy, you should make Sidecar watch you play video games while he tells us more of his stand-up bits. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did that once. 
back in the day, like, when I had my own streaming channel, didn't have to deal with all these people. Only had like 25 people at a time. Who is Sidecar? Him. He's my friend. Timmy. Yes. You're my insurance agent. I'm his insurance agent, but we're friends first. You're also the guy I call when I need some weird thing built or need a, a root chopped up into a jar. Oh, wait. A sauerkraut cabbage is not a root. Mm. Look at this. Look at that. That right there is pornography. Ah. <laughs> Oh, man. Mm -hmm. mm. Gary's out to go to 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 Gary's What are you drinking, Timmy? Fairy Decker? No, I'm drinking a beer. What? Big crackers you had earlier. You had They're big, right here, buddy. Big crackers. Yeah. This is great stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't drink that much anymore. Uh -oh. I think one tall boy of Miller Lite's gonna get me fucked up. Not really. Oh, I wanted to talk about something. Have I mentioned this before? I don't know if I mentioned this before. Uh, I put barbecue sauce in the little weenies that I made. Barbecue sauce, grape jelly, and hot sauce. There is this brand of... of yeah, too much light. Hold on. Mm -hmm. There we go. Better? Better. Uh, if you can't tell, it says pig lotion. Pig lotion. Right there. And, uh, yeah. Also, I used to do a thing in a bit about how every good barbecue place has a pig on their sign that's totally okay with what's happening. It also <laughs> applies to barbecue. Like, this is meant to be on a dead pig, and you got all these happy little pigs. Like, come on, kill us. You know? I love it. One of them has a t-shirt that says, Pig Lotion Rocks. <laughs> I don't know if we... Have I shown that on this before? I don't think I have, but... Yeah. There's so many toothpicks everywhere. You're going to catch one with your foot. For sure. Yeah. I'm gonna, it's going to hurt bad. I'm going to mm -hmm. scream. And wake up nobody because my neighbor's gone. The scream into the darkness. Rob! Oh, hold on. Then what if I put my face over here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Proud dads, yes. Well, that pizza dip is fantastic. Isn't it great? It's probably 900 calories yeah. to look at it. I mean, who gives a shit? Legitimately, between the weenies, the two dips, and the cake. It was a meal. I didn't eat dinner tonight. This was a thousand calories. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I did not eat dinner. Because this is dinner. I mean, this is yeah. food. That's a pile of food. I'm going to die. Not really. I shouldn't say that because it apparently happens to us. So, I'm not going to. But, uh, whew. Refuck it later. It says I want to see Timmy absolutely fuck that cake up. I, Lee got me a huge piece, but I am eating it, and it's delicious. It's great cake. So you can take some home to your family to eat for New Year's? I'll take some over to mine and scare them. You can just take it all to yours. No? We got so many snacks yeah, from okay. the Christmas thing. Okay. I've been taking a bunch to work and just leaving it on the surface plates. <laughs> 
Really? Yeah. I uh, I'm for the cool I made so many fucking cookies. Yeah. I should have sent you some. I didn't. Mm. I sent Margaret the container. I'm like, just get rid of these. <laughs> Give them to Grandma. I don't care. You know. Yeah. So she went. Over, my daughter went over to her grandparents today because she's on school break, which you know. You think about school break as being fun, but we didn't have anyone to like take care of her very much yesterday, so she hung with me in my office like a lot. <laughs> but we still had fun. It was too cold to sled. We got snow, but it's been too cold to sled. So today was pretty great. Maybe she got out sledding today. But you got that big picture window. Just watch the people shuffle past. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look for old guys. Check out their butts. Um. Yeah. Um, someone asked what kind of cake is it? This is chocolate sauerkraut cake. Uh, my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, I post the recipe, so so look for them. But it really, it's just, uh, you basically make chocolate cake and you have sauerkraut in it. And uh, Lee, uh, you can attest to this too, that it does not have any sauerkraut taste. No, you don't know. It, and I was surprised. I was expecting if it, it was going to have a little bit of a coconut texture because of the sauerkraut. No, it's just in there. Yeah. It's kind of melted into it, I think. And it yeah. made it very moist and good and it held it together. Even after I... We both have destroyed. We've do, both done our part to destroy this because we made it. I made part of it. I didn't have two of the same cake pans, so we did a cake pan, and then a bunt cake pan that I'd never even used before. I bought it when my girlfriend made a cake here once. So, uh, so then we put the. So then I took the bun, The first the round cake came out fine. The bunt cake got all fucked up on my part. Then Lee started frosting it before it was cooled down so it started melting the frosting so there's a pool of just we should show them the pool there's a pool of melted chocolate frosting in the middle that is just delightful i'm sure uh dip a cracker into that shit uh and then we put eyes all over it so it's pretty fucked up and we named it eric uh and that's the zucchini boy show tonight i'm full and i'm not gonna stop eating because when you leave it's gonna get really fucking sad in here that's not because right. i mean i will miss you but i mean sad like i'll be like you know? <laughs> it's an instant pot I'll probably watch matrix resurrections the third time that's an instant pot yeah yep. but you can use it as a crock pot sure wonko was asking wonko who fuck him fucking wonko god so when I used to stream before Whitus has had a Twitch years ago, no one knew about it, so I only got 20 or 30 people at a time. But a couple of them I became good friends with. One of them being Wonko, who drove to our town, met me and Lee, gave me a giant ham. Uh, he was nice to Lee, but he gave me the homework ham. <laughs> you ended up having some. Yeah. You came over to our house, uh, my parents' house on uh, 4th of July, back when you could do a thing like that. And... Uh, we soaked that thing in, in Dr. Pepper and then roasted it. And it was good, but it was still so hard and so salty. And it just filled my mouth with canker sores. Just filled me with canker sores. <laughs> it was horrible. But the reason I still talk to Wonko is that he also, at the time, shared his... He's a good old southern boy from Tennessee, Kentucky, and then moved to Virginia anyway. Arizona. So, no. You're just saying states. You're just saying states. Anyways, he's a southern boy. And he shared buttermilk, his buttermilk biscuit recipe with, with me, which is... Those were amazing. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, is I, the first time I made them, they were perfect. I've never nailed them that hard again. It's so weird, you know? Yeah. Like, the first time, they were perfect. They were like, fucking, you buy them at the store. They're I right. hope everybody knows I'm joking. Wonka was really, really cool. Yeah, but he doesn't know where he lives, and it's too bad. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if Wonka... Wonka doesn't want to show his face. I don't even use his real name, because his name is not Wonka. What? But, yeah, I know. But he's very <laughs> private, and so I never talk about him and his real oh. parts of him. You, I thought cared, but you don't care. So God. now you're off you're here. Fuck Wonka. Now, now you're gonna get fucking swatted. Oh. That kid swap people. They swap people. What else do they do? They uh. Um, ooh, I could get. Could I get canceled? Catfish. You get. Ca you get canceled. I Definitely. Get canceled. You know what though? You're not gonna get canceled because you're like pretty on the nose and like not an idiot. And, you know, uh, you're not going to get canceled, man. In fact, one, th one I think I talked about this last time you were here, but one of my favorite things about Lee is he's very involved with Special Olympics, and he does some stand-up material about that. And so when he starts talking about it, of course, everybody in the audience is like, uh-oh, oh. here comes a joke with the R word, making fun of the kids, all that stuff. But Lee does, since he loves those people and would never do that. They're my dear friends. Dear friends. Uh... He does stand up uh, where he's the brunt of the joke, 
and the the people with special you know the special olympics athletes are making fun of him and it's just beautiful one of the and best I love it. audiences i ever had was doing a show up in uh Aberdeen for an entire audience of Special Olympics athletes. Really? Oh, oh yeah. They got great. the jokes better than anybody. <laughs> that's great. They man. were fantastic. That's great. And that's the thing when people are like you can't joke about such and such. Yeah, you can. You just need a good you angle. Should. You fucking shill. You know what I mean? You like you talk about Special Olympics is great, and you get up there, and I, like I said, you expect it to be oh oh oh, and it's not. Because you can talk about any subject as long as you make the right people the butt of it, which is normally going to be. Straight fucking white, white guys. Dudes. Yeah, straight white guys. So, which on Whitest Kids, we joked about everything under the sun, but there's a few sketches that are, you know, admittedly missteps, but most of our stuff, we were the bad guys, so it works. You Some know? of that stuff, because I've, I've seen those sketches, but it also, too, is if you've made mistakes in the past in how you referred to people and you realize that, yeah, it wasn't cool and you've grown as a person, mm -hmm. all good. Mm -hmm. No one's, anyone with any sense at all. If you saw what happened with James Gunn, mm -hmm. and you go, nope, we're all good, James, don't sweat it. Because you know he's pulled out. Yeah. yeah. You go, oh, gosh, I, I guess I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. And, and uh, you're very against a hard R. You know that we used to use it all the time. Yep. yep. And uh, hard F, you know. And, uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, if you're we did it. We didn't do it because we hated anybody. We did it because we wanted to make dumb people sound dumb. Mm -hmm. But we also understood, like, yeah, you, wanna, you don't want to do that anymore. So we don't do it anymore. Right. That's how it works. It's not as uh, controversial as people think to nope. make tiny updates to your language as time goes by yeah. to welcome uh, marginalized groups into the community as they gain more visibility and power. It doesn't really, it's not really a big fucking deal. You know? Anyways, there's my, there's our soapbox. That's the only soapbox tonight. And it was a pretty positive one. I did yell at that guy for telling me to put uh, milk on the frosting, but seriously, fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> and called Wonko an ass. Yeah, but Wonko's fine. Fucking Wonko. He's not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> He's going to be up. Oh, the guy's fucking fast. He's fucking done. He will come here and punch me in the face. Where did you say you put? No, I'll just give you a ham you have to fucking work on for three weeks. Uh, someone says, where do you have post recipes? Okay. Uh, I just put them on my personal Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. My Instagram is Timmy Williams is pretty because that's true. Uh, my Twitter is Timmy is a nerd because that's true, and my Facebook is Timmy Williams, which is also true because that's my name. There you go. <laughs> he says he's writing a missive to his representatives. Only Wonko. Only Wonko. <laughs> Bar, only Wonko would use the word missive. <laughs> he's like, this will get the guys. This will yeah. get him back. Missive. <laughs> I always thought, isn't Missive like the little books with the songs in them at church? No? <laughs> BSP Bra says, I told you I would type out some Christmas cookie recipes for you. I got so busy I wasn't even able to make them myself this year. Yo, I didn't make nearly as many Christmas cookies as I want to this year at different kinds, but I made a lot of the ones that I did make because of this stupid show, because several of the recipes I made uh, were ones where you have to make part of it ahead, so I would do double or triple the recipe. In the case of these, which you will take home to your family, I made oh. triple the recipe. These are the gumdrops from last week, by the way. Wow. They are very uh, cured at this point, I would say. Cured? Okay. What else would you say? Uh, I don't know. I haven't tried Aged. One. They're aged. Okay. Right. Um, they're nice and got a nice oh, wow. white sugary crunchy outside and jelly soft on the inside. Those are neat. Beautiful. Yeah. Like jello. You make unflavored gelatin and then you fuck with it. Wow. Yeah, isn't that great? Those are fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, you want to take a bunch to your fam? You really should. Come on. Come on. A little minty. Like Come an on. after dinner mint. You said you got a good work bonus. You should get your kids some dental work. Yeah, you uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> get your kids a bunch of dental work. So, I'll give you some of these. Boy, those things are delightful. Aren't they great? Dude, they're, be careful. What else? Because you'll be sitting there and suddenly you eat 17 of them, you know? Ah! Got old dad noise in the service. Oh! Yeah. Ah! Oh! Did I even do what I pee? Ah! <laughs> it's so relaxing when the piss finally comes out of your <laughs> wretched, curvy, archaic urethra. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, the, the gumdrops are kind Yo, of... Yo, I want everyone to remember two things tonight as you go into 2022. Archaic... Urethra. <laughs> <laughs> and missive. We are your thank you, urethra. Good night. <laughs> and missive. 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 
You know what? I hate it when I roast a friend in chat and then I step away from chat and don't see the reply. <laughs> Such an asshole. It's just a one-way friendship, but they're all used to that. <laughs> Like Lee dropping me vegetables for five fucking years, and then finally gets invited to show his... up on his doorstep. And you know, if you set the set the zucchini on his door handle, so as soon as he opens the door, it falls. just falls and hurts my toes. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> oh man, you've got a narrow urethra. Well, Lee. <sighs> Get yeah, the fuck you out of my house. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's your gumdrops. Okay. Well, we're going to have to... Well, you're not going to leave on camera, because we got to get you all set up here. Okay. But, okay. Well, it's time to be done with the show. Uh, let's, uh... Oh, he's back. Okay, hey, everybody. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Like, I was so technically proficient today, except for the upside-down picture. And then... My modem is weird. I need a new one. Uh, that doesn't mean give me one. I'll get one. But, like, every time you say something like you need something, people go, ah! No, no, no. That's cool. I appreciate you guys. Just keep donating. It's fine. I'll get another modem, but uh, I don't know what happened there. But now we're back to say goodbye. Now it's time to... Oh. God, why are people watching me? Okay. Uh, let's raid the motherfucker. Come on, fucker won't quit. Uh, let's see here. I'm leaving you the rest of the horse radish. Dude. Yep. You want to take some of the dip? You can make it. You can make it. Or you can take it. You can make it. You can take it. But please don't take this horseradish dip and bake it. Because that's not what you're supposed to do, oh baby. Who knew I would reference random mediocre Weezer? Um, what should I, uh... I feel like I'm going to throw up. I'm, I can't do that on stream. Really? Some people would want it. A lot of people wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> both my girlfriend and my daughter are not cool with throwing up. So, like, when I watch uh, Knives Out with my daughter, uh, Knives Out has a main character who throws up as part of, like, their character flaws or whatever. I, I had to look up the time codes so that um, that didn't happen. I don't know who to raid. I'm gonna like Ziplocs for a lot of this stuff. You're a Ziploc. <laughs> Mini pig play? That sounds fucked up. Let's see what it is. Animals, aquariums, and zoos. Okay, we're gonna raid this. Oh, yes! It's like animals. It's like an animal feed. It's, maybe it's a video game? I can't tell. We're gonna do this. Yeah. All right, everybody. I love you all. That's Thank you for watching. That's a pig. Lee. Tell the people, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Uh, go make some sauerkraut cake and get chubby. Love y'all. See you next year. Ha ha ha! That's so pretty. Uh, that's a really good joke. Uh, now there's 10 seconds of awkwardness because we said goodbye, but uh, the raid takes a little bit. <laughs> I always forget about that part. Yeah. Is that a pig? Or like a rhino I'm or something? I'm not really sure, man. Uh, well, there's more than one of them, so it's probably not a rhino. Oh. Sad face. Right. <laughs> that was a great way to end the stream. <laughs> Anyways, the great animal's dead. Bye! <laughs>